There are a number of approaches to making crown molding style frames for mirrors, photos, art, or even augmented reality. I like to start by making a hole that is about three millimeters smaller in each dimension than the mirror or glass I'm planning to use, and I click the lock icon to make sure I don't accidentally resize it. To make the frame, we can use basic shapes in different configurations. Just make sure they are flat on the bottom so they will print well. You can also create great effects by using the extrusion tool that you can find in the featured shape generators. Rotate it, turn it into a hole, lift it up a bit, play with the handles, Then use it to cut a swoopy design into a box. If there are any leftover bits, be sure to trim them with another hole. Frame sections can then be grouped, duplicated, and rotated 90 degrees. Size the two sides to an approximate fit to the hole. Then select and duplicate them. Rotate the copy you've made. Then size and align the corners as needed. One trick is to place another shape near the corner you're working on select it, and type the letter F to zoom in to that area to see in greater detail. If the molding design goes down then up, you may get a corner that has a funny transition. You can add shapes to cover this, and you can also use a rotated wedge shape that you turn into a hole and align in order to miter cut the molding. Be sure to avoid resizing the molding after that since it will no longer be a 45 degree angle if you do. Another trick is to elongate the section of molding so it's a little more than half of the length of the side you're working on. Then group the molding and the hole. Hit duplicate. Then click on mirror so that the copy you've just made can be mirrored in the opposite direction. Hold shift and use your arrow keys to move sections of frame long distances and now you can slide the two different pieces and align them correctly with the hole. To make a base for the mirror or picture glass, create a rectangle that's the same length and width as your frame and cut a hole in it that is just slightly deeper, wider, and longer than the glass or mirror. For example, for a one millimeter thick plexiglass, the hole was 1.25 millimeters deep into the base and it was one millimeter wider and longer. If desired, you can also add a torus or tube shape to create a hanger. A small amount of superglue or other adhesive will join your pieces. And now you're framed up and ready to go.